only actually just recently discovered is the ability to actually convert between Unicode and LaTeX. So as we discussed before, uh, Unicode is the inbuilt, the default uh, math syntax in Microsoft Word for typing equations, and it's extremely intuitive. For example, if you want to do fractions like a slash b, you can, it will immediately automatically become a fraction itself. Um, and uh, if I want to do an integral, for example, if I want to define the definition of word, uh, work done, sorry, uh, I need to type a rather long equation just like this. And uh, maybe let's try one more uh, with a little bit more ambitious one. Um, let's say I want to type a Lagrangian. Uh, let's just do a simple Lagrangian uh, like this. And oops, mu nu, and I want partial mu uh, with phi, partial nu with phi minus, let's say, a mass term this way. All right, so now that we have these equations, um, let's say you want to go in and edit an equation. So uh, the absolutely quickest way is actually just go in in to the equation and start editing it uh, in line like this. So in so the equations will automatically compile. Um, for example, like this. However, let's say you don't want to go in uh, with all the arrow keys going up and down this way to modify. Um, you can actually expand out your equation, uh, sort of uncompile it, and now you can see the exact coding this way. Uh, it is especially useful, for example, in large matrices. Let's say you want to type a matrix that looks like this. And uh, if you want to type a matrix that looks like this, let's try if I can remember my Pauli matrix. So that's, a, uh, that's all in good. But if you want to really, if you want to modify it uh, in line, you can actually do this and it will automatically in uncompile and you can actually modify uh, things inside like this. Um, and once you're done, for example, you actually don't want to show the zeros here, you want to show it blank, uh, you can do that and you can recompile. Now uh, you can have a cleaner matrix display like this, although it has a box over here. Uh, when you actually go and print into a PDF, uh, it will actually not show up. I don't know if it's seeable clearly over here, um, but maybe you can, uh, you can trust me that they don't show up. If you really, really don't like it, you just simply put a space bar over here um, to make it cleaner to, to look in this way. Now, this is good because uh, I can actually select everything and just uncompile everything. You can see the syntax. However, not, what's not good is you cannot just copy this over to uh, a LaTeX compiler and compile because as you can see um, LaTeX does not recognize all these uh, non-ASCII symbols. Um, for example, this is my the vector symbol that Microsoft Word automatically interpret. This is not how LaTeX does fractions as well. Um, so uh, you can actually convert these to LaTeX. So what you have to do is actually first compile it and then you can design a shortcut now that I've actually toggled my system into LaTeX. Um, and I can now uncompile things. As you can see now, uh, all my equations are actually in LaTeX formula. Uh, what is beautiful is now you can actually just copy this. For example, uh, if you can directly copy this into a rich text format uh, document, for example, like this. And these are all LaTeX formulas. Of course, now the numbering is unfortunate that it has to it automatically comes with that. So if you are intending to actually copy this into, uh, into LaTeX from the first place, you probably don't want to start with number equations, but you can just start with uh, typing equations uh, without numbering like this. And uh, that way, if you copy it over, uh, you will actually just have a pure text with ASCII uh, LaTeX recognizable uh, syntaxes. So um, 
in, if you insist as well, you can also toggle the system into LaTeX. So just to show you, it, I am indeed in LaTeX. So you see over here, this is LaTeX. But however, I don't want to uh, use my mouse to come over here and click to switch between Unicode and LaTeX every time. So I would, I can design, like I said, what I explained before, uh, we can define shortcuts that if I do this now, it actually toggles it back to Unicode, as you can see. So here's me typing a Unicode fraction. And now let me toggle it to LaTeX. So if I type, uh, if I create a new equation over here, as you can see over here, it has been toggled to LaTeX. And if I want, I can type things in LaTeX. Uh, late, for LaTeX, if I put tap spacebar, as you can see, it does not automatically compile. I'll have to uh, use my keyboard shortcut to actually compile it. Um, like this. I don't really like them sticking together, so let me separate them a little bit. Now that the system is in LaTeX, I can actually uncompile everything. You can uh, see, for some reason, actually LaTeX will not, when I'm in LaTeX mode, I cannot compile everything at once, but if I'm in, so if I select both, I cannot compile everything. It would just, just compile the first one. Um, let me, uh, so I will actually have to go in and compile every single line, which is a little bit annoying. <laughs> but if I toggle my system back to Unicode, uh, so just so you can see on the left, now it's toggled back to Unicode. Um, I can now select multiple equations and uncompile everything at the same time, recompile everything at the same time. Now finally, one more thing to share with you is uh, if is finally, if you find late, uh, if you find Unicode actually a much more, uh, if you find Unicode a nicer uh, syntax to actually type, um, for example, if you want to type uh, this matrix over here, um, what you can do is actually type things in Unicode first and then copy it as LaTeX. So it actually automatically, Word will help you convert things between Unicode and LaTeX. So for example, let's try an example over here. Uh, this time let's try to type Maxwell's equation. Uh, oops, I'm actually in LaTeX mode. Uh, so now I'm in Unicode. So I will, I can first try to type uh, late, the Maxwell equation this way, let's say without source. So uh, now as you can see, this is in Unicode if I compile it. Um, but what you can do is just go out. Now I've toggled it to LaTeX mode and I can directly just copy this without uncompiling it. So I'm doing Control C, and if I go to just a simple text editor, uh, I can paste it, and as you can see, it's automatically in LaTeX, um, uh, because I have actually toggled my system here to LaTeX. Now if I go back to Unicode, for example, and I can copy this, and copy uh, and paste, over here, you see I'm pasting in Unicode. It is non-ASCII characters, uh, but it, uh, it depends on what you want. Um, of course, the uh, vice versa is true. If you started typing uh, LaTeX, uh, and if you want to compile it in Word, you can absolutely do so. So make sure you're toggled into LaTeX before you paste and compile. Um, things will automatically compile this way. So hopefully you liked this video. Um, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Hopefully you enjoyed this video to show you some of the capabilities of converting between Unicode and LaTeX. Uh, if you're interested, um, I can create a separate video to show you step-by-step uh, -step all the keyboard shortcuts. So here it's just meant to be a demonstration of its capability. I didn't mean this to be a proper tutorial, but if anyone is interested in a proper tutorial on every single key that I type, um, all the short keyboard shortcut uh, that can help you do this, um, let me know. I, I can consider making a more detailed tutorial in the future. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoy typing math in Microsoft Word.